Hello, welcome fellow traders. AMP Futures here presenting another how to video. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and talk about keyboard shortcuts using the TradingView software. Now, keyboard shortcuts are just basically going to allow you to use your keyboard to initiate actions within the TradingView software, which is going to make it very efficient to access certain features or even place trades on the actual platform using your keyboard. So let's go ahead and show you where to go to access those keyboard shortcuts. First things first, on the top left corner, you want to click your TradingView account logo. And within the context menu, you'll see where it says keyboard shortcuts. The first thing that I would recommend doing is becoming familiar with the actual keyboard shortcut to open up keyboard shortcuts. So if you notice right now, I'm currently using a Macintosh operating system with a Macintosh keyboard. So if you look to the right, that's the command key on a Mac keyboard with a forward slash. If you're using a Windows operating system on a traditional Windows keyboard or just keyboard in general, it's typically going to be a control key with a forward slash. So watch what happens when I hit command forward slash. This is going to now open up the keyboard shortcuts. The first thing that you'll notice are the different category groups where you can access different keyboard shortcuts for. So for example, you have chart, indicators and drawings, watch list and screener, pine script editor, trading, and alerts. So of course, it's going to be up to you as the user to decide which category groups are going to be most useful for yourself. But the main thing that you want to do is click that particular category group and have an understanding of what the keyboard shortcuts are for the specific action that you want to initiate. So here's a basic example. For example, in the chart category group, if I want to access the keyboard shortcut to open up indicators, all I need to do is hit the forward slash on my keyboard. Now I can just simply choose the indicator and now you can see it's been applied onto the chart. Another thing that I want to point out that I actually like is called the quick search. In this case, command plus K. If you're using a Windows operating system, it'll be control plus K. So watch what happens when I do command plus K, you'll see search tool or function. So for example, if I were to type in, let's say indicators, now I can select remove indicators. The only thing that I want to point out, the reason why I brought up quick search is because once you open up the quick search, in this case, command K, it'll also remember the recent functions that you use. So now it's going to be a lot more efficient to access that particular action. So here's an example. I'm going to go ahead and add an indicator, forward slash, click the indicator to add it. Now I can do command K and then I can just hit remove indicators. So once you become more familiar with the keyboard shortcuts, in, in result, you'll become more efficient because you're going to develop that muscle, muscle memory as you start using the keyboard shortcuts on a daily basis. And then it's just going to become second nature once you really get it dialed in. Here's another example. Uh, we're not going to show all the keyboard shortcuts, but mainly just, just some simple ones that so you have an understanding of how this works. So let's go into the trading category group. So for example, a nice one to demonstrate would be a place market order to buy. So on a, Mac, uh, on a Macintosh computer as well as a Windows computer, it's the same thing. It's going to be a shift key for either operating system. So in this case, to place a market order to buy, it would be shift plus B, or to place a market order to sell, it will be shift plus S. So watch what happens. I'm going to go ahead and just close this out for a second. I have no position as you can see here. And normally, I mean, you could just press, press the buy and sell buttons here, but again, the purpose of the keyboard shortcuts is just becoming very efficient using your keyboard. So here's me hitting shift B and I just got into a position. So now you can see I'm long one at a price of 52.45. If I hit shift S, now you can see I offset the position. So those were quick keyboard shortcuts to buy at the market and sell at the market. And all I had to do was just simply press those keyboard shortcuts directly on my keyboard to initiate those actions. And this is how you use keyboard shortcuts with the TradingView platform. As always, if you have any questions about this or need a walkthrough, you can always contact our 24-hour support staff at AMP Futures at www.ampfutures.com. As long as the markets are open, we're always here to assist you, whether it's live chat or live phone support. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day and happy trading.